Today's March 29th, 2020. Back on March 18th, 2020. So Trump's telling us that we have, it's a two week period to go through this because the idea is to get everything quarantined, cleaned up, and then, you know, get back to work as usual. But that's not going to happen because once the 15 days is up, when he mentioned that on March 16th, it leads you to April Fool's. And the big joke is, this ain't going to stop. Because they can't contain it. And they still haven't told us yet that it's because of exchanging money that they can't stop it. It's from the mailman given exchanging the mail. It's on the mail all the reasons what they're going to say. And the only reason I say this is because I've studied their patterns. I'm just taking educated guesses. And I'm wrong a lot. But there's also those times where I am right about it. And nobody's going back to school. This two-week period land straight on April Fool's Day. And I wouldn't be surprised if Trump says and extends it for another 30 days until May 1st. That way they get, they have a chance to get everybody off the streets. Today, March 29th. American people to know that your selfless, inspiring, and valiant efforts are saving countless lives people to know that your selfless, inspiring, and valiant efforts are saving countless lives. The better you do, the faster this whole nightmare will end. Therefore, we will be extending our guidelines to April 30th to slow the spread. Donald Trump adds 30 days be surprised if Trump says and extends it for another 30 days until May 1st. That way they get, they have a chance to get everybody off the streets. I mean, this is what's going to happen. I can't pretend I don't know that this is going to happen. I'll explain later on how I figured this out and how I got the information. But just know this, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> 